Hi guys, Bob here, and in this video I'm going to show you the plinth. Now, actually this was a uh, Kickstarter to begin with, and um, it is now, well I mean, it got funded a while back, and um, it did have quite a few problems with it. It was fraught with uh, problems getting the mould sorted and the things like that. However, it has finally come to fruition, and he now has his own website up and running selling these for the price of UK £20 right now with free UK shipping. So <clears throat> this is how it comes, just a little box like this. And if we look, the world's smallest, most stable, adaptable tablet stand ready for action at the touch of a button. You've got this little slide up here that says discover, and it shows you how to uh, use it basically, that bit there. Push that back in there, and you can see it in some sort of action pose there with a, a tablet on it. So fits all tablets and smartphones with or without a cover in portrait or landscape. See the story of Plinth at myplinth.co.uk. At last, a truly stable solution for supporting your tablet on the go. So all tablets, smartphones with or without a case, small as an iPhone yet very stable, perfect for travel. Portrait or landscape with five angles of adjustment and even holds hardback books. So obviously that's showing you there a cookery book while you're cooking. So there you go, let's get into it anyway. Now it's actually a really nice design this. Um, I remember first seeing it, I think it was on Geek Beat TV because what he was also doing, that's all you get in the box, there's nothing else in there by the way. Um, and basically um, you can get them in several different colors, uh, different uh, mixtures of colors here with the, the rubbers because these are all like little rubber sections here that help with the grip and you've got rubber feet there and you can see a swivel point there and that is how big it is now if I put that next to my iPhone 6 Plus for example you can see it's roughly around about an iPhone 4 a little shorter maybe maybe a fraction wider I'm not sure exactly I don't have an iPhone 4 here at hand to show you it next to but there you go I mean it's only as you can see it's about about 10 mil thick, something like that. And there is a little sort of <laughs> trick to uh, setting these up. So yeah, bas basically what you've got to do is, you see this piece here, this is actually a sliding button. And you've just got that small amount there to put your finger in at the top. And the knack is that you press that while pushing away with a finger and a thumb to open that up. So if I show you that now at full speed, and just show you how quick it is and that's it so you're ready now for your iPad to go straight on there into typing position and you've got some nice little rubber feet in here little grip and obviously it'll take any tablet in or in, a, in or with out of a case and that's it so if I put my iPad Air on there I'll just right so there you can see the iPad Air sitting on it uh, quite well now I don't think you would want it uh, in portrait mode at that level. So if I put that to the side there now, and if I show you in the back here, and what you've actually got, you can see this is the spring loaded part just here that folds up inside. And if we do that, then this portion here pushes through. And that's your first sort of next step up from the typing area. So if I put that in that position there, you can get a rough idea of uh, what's going on here. And if I lift that now, and you can see that, if I lift that, you can see that just dropped into another slot there. So then that gives you another position. So that would be like maybe watching a movie or a video at the desk. And if I lift it again, so you get your final position, which is very upright at that point there and then lean that back against it. Now, obviously, you know, you don't want to be knocking it or anything like that, but that would be perfect for viewing a movie. Uh, let's say you've gone to a hotel. Now, I, I travel a little bit uh, on and off in my work and stay in hotels and hostels and things like that. So this is perfect for, um, you know, viewing a video or uh, whatever you want to do with it, really. I mean, even a little bit of gameplay, say, on an iPad if you didn't want to actually physically hold the iPad up. So, you know, it's, it's very good. And 
if I then fold that back in there like that, that down, that like that, and that's it, it clips back up. So <laughs> it's actually really quite a, a nifty device really. Um, I think it's worth its money, uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Now perfect for say a blogger uh, going into an um, internet cafe or a coffee shop or something like that, absolutely perfect, you know, nice typing angle there. If you want to travel light, you know, it's got it. Uh, definitely a very good traveling addition to go in your pocket. I mean, it's, you know, it is very small. On the website, it does sell extra accessories, uh, cases that will hold this. And I believe the cases are actually in leather as well, uh, with a little side pocket that you can slide a, a pen into as well when this is in. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a really nice accessory to have. Um, you know, uh, so I'll leave all the links below to, uh, I believe the site, the website is myplinth.co.uk. I'll leave the link for that. Um, if you buy one, make sure you give me a shout out, please. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know what you think underneath anyway, guys. I, I find it a really nice little stand. Uh, definitely one that uh, when I work away will be in my pocket or in my bag. So yeah, just hit them up on the, uh, on the website. You can make inquiries into um, bulk buying and things like that and also like your corporate branding and printing and as you'll see there are so many different colors and little um, little uh, case accessories for them and what have you that I've already mentioned you just uh, that'll slide in and then there's a, a slot down the side to uh, take a stylus say or something like that so there you go guys I'll uh, leave you to mull it over okay cheers guys see you